What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Alfexi and welcome back today to Roblox. How are you doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today it is time once again for a brand new Bee Swarm Simulator video and today is once again a completely unplanned video. So, basically, I currently have 19 million honey and now hopefully if you saw the last episode you'll know that we actually got this amazing brand new Riley bee guard for our left shoulder. Do you see it? It's so red. It's so big. Oh my goodness. And uh, yeah, basically this bad boy cost us 60 million honey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez, that's so much honey. Um, yeah, so basically what I was doing is I was just playing, like, and I was just grinding out some honey and doing my thing, and then boom, the servers went down, and it said that the developer had shut down the servers. So usually this means one of two things. It means, like, they're just doing a reset. I should say he, actually. It's just one developer. He's doing a reset, or it means there's some new content added, and yes, today it was a new update. Well, so it was kind of like a new update, sort of more like a mini update. And what I thought I'd do is I'd jump on and uh, basically show you what's changed. Show you like a few bits and pieces. And also, the very, very good, very, very, very good news is as soon as I went, uh, heard about this update, I went onto Twitter and the developer said that there's going to be a new, much bigger update coming next week, which is super, super exciting. You, you guys know, you guys know the new Beast Wolf simulator content. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, anyway. So, today's video is kind of just like a little update video, I guess, to kind of see what the new changes are. And the first thing that has changed is you now have this little cog here in the top. And if you click it, finally, they have been added some promo codes. So I was wondering, like, I was always thinking, hmm, are there ever going to be promo codes in this game? Well, the good news is that, yes, there are now promo codes, which I think are through, like, the developer's Twitter page and stuff. I'm kind of tempted to be a little bit cheeky here. So I do have a few codes, um, which I've just found on Twitter. So we'll do those and see what they actually give us. But I really, really want a code for you guys. Um, <laughs> so if we really, really, really want to be ch like super cheeky with this, um, then yeah, anyone who has Twitter, jump onto Twitter right now and tweet at Onnit. I'm going to put it up on the screen there. That is how you say it and say something like, hey, Team Thanks See you. We really want some Beast Swarm Simulator codes. Maybe we can get some codes for you guys. I would love to get you like some free royal jelly or something. So I'll tweet the developer as well. If all of you guys tweet him, maybe we can get some thanks to your Bee Swarm Simulator codes. Oh, wouldn't that be cool? I'm super excited. Anyway, so uh, we're going to go through these things one by one. Uh, the first thing we're going to go through is just a few of the codes that I've managed to find so far. So, okay, 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 okay. Here's the list. So I don't know if the capitalization matters with this, but the first one which is written is if you put in all in capital letters change... And you can actually, you know what, let's try this. Let's put it not in capital letters, see if it still works. So if we type in change and click redeem, hey, there we go. We have received a free royal jelly for just typing in the word change. What more could you ask for? Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's the first one. The second one is apparently soup. <laughs> so I don't know if all of these actually work just yet. So I'm, I'm guessing you guys can see on the screen as we're doing this. This is the first time that I tried these. Let's try soup. Hey, 10 tickets. Another royal jelly and 5,000 honey? 10 tickets from the word soup? Oh my goodness me. All right, okay. The next one, and I, I, I'm, I'm, I can't take credit for these. I'm actually reading these from Pizza Lava 2 Roblo Roblox. <laughs> no, I can't take credit for these, but Pizza Lava 2 on Twitter uh, has written these ones up. So if we go 38217 and then redeem, <gasps> five tickets? How are these people discovering these promo codes? It only came out like half an hour ago. Oh my goodness me, that's amazing. So yeah, 38217 will get you five tickets. Let's go to the next one. The next one is super simple. It is Wax, W-A-X, if we redeem that. Another five tickets and 5,000 honey. Oh my goodness me, are you kidding? All right, next one is Roof. So R-O-O-F, redeem. Another five tickets. Oh my goodness. All right, next one is Cog. C-O-G, if we redeem, another five tickets. Next one is Nectar. So if we go Nectar, N-E-C-T-A-R, redeem. Okay, that was just 5,000 honey with Nectar. And then we have done the one that is called Change. So have I missed any out? Either way, though, that's a ton of free tickets from just typing in promo codes. So make sure you guys go and do that as soon as possible, just in case they expire. Do we have one for ourselves? Let's type in thanks to you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, invalid promo code. It's so sad. 
Hmm, okay, so I think that's all the promo codes I can find for right now, but this update has only been out for about half an hour, so there could be some more. I mean, I guess we could try things like, I don't know, Beetle, see if that does anything. No, that doesn't do anything. What about King, maybe? Something like that. No. What about Hive? Does that do anything? No. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, what about... Okay, let's try one more. Let's try Tabby. Let's try that. Does that do anything? No. Okay. I have no idea how people found those codes so quickly. That's amazing. I can't take credit for those. Basically, what I've done is I've gone over to at onitdev, uh, which is his uh, the developer's Twitter thing. So, yeah, make sure you go and tweet him. Make sure you say, Team Thanks, see you. Want some codes, man? Maybe we can get some cool codes for you guys. Um... But yeah, okay, so that's change number one, a new code system. Now, there's a couple of other changes to do with the tickets, and I think this is really, really good, because, like, when that first Photon B came out, it was 500 tickets. It still is 500 tickets, but there really weren't that many ways to actually get tickets, which was super tricky. Um, so now they've kind of changed it slightly. Um, so the good news is now is that the brown bear... This is also quite annoying. It's because, obviously, we've been playing this since day one, so... We don't have any more bra- bra- Oh, brown bear! No, wait! Did I hand it in? No, I didn't! Oh, okay! I thought it was black bear for a second. No, 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 no. So, basically, now brown bear will always give you a ticket with every single quest that you do for him. So, if we talk to brown bear... Okay, I literally completed this. I had 500,000 honey from the strawberry field. I just didn't hand it in yet. Hey, we got two tickets! Oh! We got two. I actually can't remember. It was so long ago. Did Brown Bear actually have his own individual quests? Or was he always just a daily royal jelly bear? I can't remember. That's so bad, isn't it? It's been so long. <laughs> but okay, that's good news. So every single time you do a Brown Bear quest, you should get a ticket. And also, uh, as well as doing that, tickets should be, I think, 20%. No, 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 no. There's no number for this. But basically, when you actually, you know, kill mobs and you farm flowers, the percentage rate of you actually getting a ticket has also been increased. I'm not Think Noodles is on the server. Are you kidding? Justin! <laughs> Are you kidding? Where is he? Where is he? Justin? Where are you? You must be here somewhere. Where are you, dude? No, that's not Justin. There he is! No, that's not Justin. Where's Justin? Oh my goodness me, look at his legendary bee collection. <laughs> oh man. Why have you got so many legendary bees, dude? I love it though. I love it. Where is he? I'm gonna find him. Where is he? He must be here somewhere, right? Justin left the game. Justin left the game! He didn't even say hello! Oh, the sadness. <laughs> I've been shunned. I've been shunned by Justin. Why? Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna slip into his DMs later. I'm gonna be like, dude, I was on Beast Swarm Simulator. What are you doing, man? Are you kidding me? Oh, the sadness, the sadness. <laughs> oh, I feel terrible. I've been shunned, lads. Oh, jeez, I'm joking. I'm joking. He's probably just like coming on for a second. Um, okay. Well, where was I? I've completely forgotten where I was. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was saying the tickets and, and things now drop much quicker, which is really, really good news. Um, so basically, it's going to allow you to actually get tickets a little bit quicker. Was that what I was saying? I got completely sidetracked. Oh jeez, oh jeez, it doesn't matter. Anyway, let's go and kill this werewolf because I'm kind of working with the, uh, the polar power quest right now. So let me go and do this. Let me go and take you down. The pumpkin of justice still hasn't been fixed. Uh, look at this, Justin, no reply. Oh jeez. Oh, jeez, it's so sad. Um, but okay, so we've got that down, which is good. Oh, yeah, was I talking about the brown bear? I think so. Basically, let's just recap. I've completely lost count of what's going on here. Um, but yeah, so, like, the, um, the brown bear now drops tickets every single time. The ticket amount that you get from farming and also for killing any type of enemy has also been increased. And one of the coolest things for me... Oh, let's go and take another quest. Uh, Mantis. Oh, hang on. Yeah, this is the coolest thing for me. Check this out. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Pollen container is full. Pollen container is full. <laughs> the photon ability is so bad. <laughs> but yeah, basically, this is an amazing feature, especially if you're someone who's maybe got, you know, a little bit more advanced in this game. Now, when you actually make honey in the hive, the, uh, the process at which the bees produce the honey is now 20% higher by default. Now, this is really, really, really good news because... 
Basically, it does take a long time to empty your backpack, especially if you have the porter hive, and also if you have like the attachment, so you have like a belt, or you have shoulders, or something like that. The good news is now it is much quicker, which is awesome. It means you can actually just make more honey without just standing around doing nothing. Uh, and yeah, I'm super, super glad about that because um, I have been using the ticket system uh, at the top by the pineapple to actually empty my backpack, but that does have a cooldown. It only You can only do it like once every six or seven minutes. So being able to actually have this much quicker is really nice. And of course, as well as us having this plus 20 now by default, I also have the plus time, uh, the time 16 science enhancement for the conversion rate which is really, really nice. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Boom. I've emptied my backpack. Usually I would still be emptying it by now. Uh, so it kind of just saves us that little bit of extra time. I like that. I think that's good. Um, but yeah, I think there's only really one more change that I've found so far. There have been some bug fixes in various bits and pieces, but now that the sun bear is gone and his sun bear event is finished, instead of being able to get his item for free, you can now actually officially buy it in shops. So unfortunately, because we do have both of these, it doesn't actually say buy. Um, but yeah, the price for the Mondo belt is 12,400,000 honey. So I believe that you can just buy this like as an item. And I actually think that it's a pretty cheap item, all things considered, um, because, you know, it's, it's, it's a good item. You get 50,000 container space and you get some cool bits and pieces. So as well as that being actually now available in the shops, just in case you missed the Sun Bear event, uh, which is kind of suck. Like, it, obviously, it's nice to have one for free. Um, I think you can also buy the regular belt. So if you can't afford that, but you would like to have a belt, it's not in here, though, is it? It's in the pineapple shop. Hang on. <laughs> I think it should be in here, if I am not mistaken. Yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. So, yeah, this is, like, the slightly more affordable one, I guess, if you're someone that's maybe just starting out in the game. I know it's still a little bit expensive, but you'll get that eventually. Don't worry. I did. <laughs> but there we go. Boom. So, you can also buy the bag belt, which is 440,000 honey. Um, so, yeah, that's really nice. It gives you a little bit more container space. It gives you a little bit of conversion rate. It gives you a plus one critical chance. Uh, which isn't like the highest critical chance in the world, but it will kind of help. I mean, the thing with this game is something that I've discovered whilst playing. It's the basically, you know, the more items you get, it just adds like that little bit of extra every single time. So, you know, I understand that not everyone's going to be able to have every single type of bee like we have. But if you have like more red bees or more blue bees or anything like that, you can kind of make it work to your advantage. You can pick certain fields, which will give you better yields. That rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know you, you can kind of you can kind of play whichever way you want that's the beauty of this game i love this game oh all of the bees um yeah i think unfortunately that's probably going to be about it for this video here today so basically this video is just a little update um because there are some cool things so hopefully you guys will jump in and redeem those codes make sure you go and do that before they're gone i have no idea how long they actually have before they expire um but yeah make sure you go and grab those and of course make sure you go and tweet on at dev and say hey Let's have some codes for Team Thanksia. Because it would be cool to get some free royal jelly or something for you guys. Wouldn't that be cool? I think so. I'd like some free royal jelly as well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think that's going to be about it for today. So, oh jeez, I, I get so addicted. Once I'm in a field, I really don't like leaving those tokens. I'm like, oh, I really want them. I really want them. Oh, you know what, James? Restraint. Whew. Let's do your outro. Okay, so yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please remember to put me in that like button. And if you are not yet subscribed, go for it because we do Roblox done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Right, see ya.